Hello, I just pulled the Phantom from the recent banner I went through, and I'm just going to showcase how this character is like. I got to admit, the artwork's pretty badass. <clears throat> this is from the Masquerade series. So far, they have for each character. <clears throat> mm, sorry. Coming out of sickness recently. So, um, this is really interesting. He has a high attack on his limit break. 91,188 but his break power is not existent for it it's like 6,529 so what is what should I get through all this added effects I'll read it real loud that's a lot of things <laughs> uh, for what this uh, limit break does it does a certain percentage here so okay deals percentage damage to all enemies break ages so it's almost like certain things. As curse, the barrier, weaken, and stun to all enemies. And warrior's trance, snipe, or crit up, faith, which is magic up, prismatic shift to self. So they get afflicted by status effects, which is pretty nasty for enemies. And they lose a portion of break, mostly probably Zach's Supreme Card. So, for his kit, Brave Boost, Strain, Wall, typical warrior job stuff. He has resist all elements by 15%, so it makes him tanky. He has a piercing break of 150. Elements are 16, basic. He has extend break of 5. That's a lot higher than normal classes. Uh, he has Painful Break of 150, Exploit Weakness 150, Proof Kugels 150. So you want to break your enemies and do more damage. And again, this is another job that does not have any enhancements to your ailments. So if you have stuff for that, you're going to do some bang for your buck. Uh, element Third Strike plus one, which... <sighs> What the hell's the point? I have a plus one. I might as well just make a three. Um, he has a tune chain, which you're constantly blowing out your abilities. Uh, he has element break, almost like um, what was it? Ex uh, ranger card uh, job. So you're getting your orbs back when they're broken. Hence why they probably give you the extend break. Uh, ultimate charger. Uh, Prismatic Return, he has a quick break of 15, start off, and he has Steel Guard 3, uh, 3%. Um, his break power will be resisted if he has any uh, attacks on him. He has Imbue Boost, which is nice. He has Cross Counter of 15, Armor Break. Uh, he has Damage and he has Break Power Up and Multiplayer. So, <clears throat> in hindsight of a... Uh, He's pretty much more of a breaker character, even though he has two roll stances, attack and breaker. Um, this is what his stats is. I think I have it in breaker stance, so. He has really high attack, he has really high break, pretty decently high for magic, and he has crit chance of gold star. And his defense is nearly gold star, which is pretty damn good for someone who's an attacker and breaker. So if I put him in um, offense stance, his break power slightly goes down. <laughs> trying to make sense of this, it's, it's not significant enough. It's like it's upping the attack by 100, but lower the break by 100, yet your magic is decreased or increased by like 60 points. So I don't know, Tick, pick your poison. Uh, I'm using the, what do you call it, uh, the EX, um, shit, Warrior job from Warrior Light. So this is what his weapon stats are. Um, his weapon, I've never seen it somewhere, oh here it is. Uh, the Pardasium X. So improved criticals, armor break, and steel guard. So obviously that completes his set, probably. Look at the weapon. It's 
pretty badass, actually. If it wasn't we're on a short, such a short time on this game, I actually would probably boost that one next. But that's gonna take me a while to boost. So, let's go on the show here. Oh yeah, in my kit I took a, a what do you call it, the Final Fantasy XIII main antagonist and uh, Noctis, Unbreakable Bonds. And also I gotta admit, the costume for this character is pretty cool. Phasmagoria, I know it's not Puzzle of the Flesh, if anyone will ever play that game. Watch Spoony. Dance under the starless sky! Yeah, that's the little break. <clears throat> so this is what his max stats are. Almost nearly 40,000, so... With his little defense abilities, he's pretty tanky on his own. Here you go! Your tragedy is finally at an end. Let's go to season two, how he acts in there. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go back to chapter nine on that. <clears throat> I'll go in the challenge area. Hmm, taking a long time to load. I'm probably gonna get aired. <sighs> Come on. Yep. Server's congested because everyone's, you know, fishing up the storyline and such. So we'll go here. I'll take Ultimate Boon. Okay, wait, wait. Nah, nah, Ultimate Boon. It's fairly hard to find someone with, like, attack skills. Everyone's all defensive up. I used to have a guy who had Zayzad, uh, but he switched over to the ultimate moon. Okay, so we'll use the limit break to start. Let's use on one of the big guys. This will be the last moon you gaze upon. Yeah, not really impressive in that, but. Here we go! really quickly is because I don't have the view boost on them particularly. So Come, blackest night! 
Oh, if you want to see my Grand General uh, video, yeah, if you have Royal Arms, you can counteract his ability. That's not too bad. Wait, did he just... <laughs> Wait a minute, why am I fighting armor match? Your cursed blood is unwanted! Be bathed in shadow! Break. The shadow of death will embrace you. Time to die. Remember, he had like ninety thousand uh, attack power. So yeah. I did. Uh. Okay, I'm down to those guys. Uh. You'll pay for that. I must move forward to protect those I hold dear. Okay, that shit stopped this attack, right? Huh? Yeah, charge this one, buddy. Give it a problem. Hmm. Dance under the starless sky. Not anymore. <gasps> the dawn rises.
become Blackest Knight. That fight even got me pumped! Yeah, I was a little bit ill-equipped for that fight, but I managed it out. So that's what the Phantom's like. This job's not too bad. I like it. Has its fun moments. <laughs> so, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.